Hey guys, welcome, and thank you for stopping by Poppy Nicholas' channel. Well, tonight, what we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about overlays and smooth transitions, such as the one that you see here on this channel, from here to this kind of overlay with this border that's surrounding my camera that actually animates and moves, as well as going back into this transition where you have my animation in the back as well as you can see uh, an actual gameplay right behind me while i'm not being active in the game and just want to have a really good conversation with you guys now the reason why we're actually going to talk about overlays and why they're actually really important for your stream and for your viewers to actually get a feel for it is going to be all coming back to the branding and the personality of your channel now if you jump from one Twitch channel to another one, you'll see a lot of really cool overlays and a really cool designs. And that is primarily because each and every stream has its own unique feel, because each and every stream is different from not each and every other one. You have different persons streaming with a different personality, and that streamer has its own personality laid on top of the design that actually presents for you guys stream. Now, I'll personally admit, it's not all about having a great overlay and great presentation for your stream in order to gather a lot of viewers, but it's certainly a part that will make sure that you stand apart from everybody else on the platform. Now, before we jump into straight into how you can design your own overlay, and I can actually show you how you can do it with actually a couple of templates that I specifically designed for this really cool community and i'll give you the link actually where you can download those overlays and insert them in your stream at the end of this video so stay tuned now the history of overlays actually goes back to the beginning of the twitch from the very beginning twitch and their creators were really creative with their overlays more so than the youtube even though youtube is primarily based on how well you can edit your videos twitch community actually found a way that you can actually take the viewer and actually keep them in place and watch your stream and being entertained through the various of visual additions such as an overlay is the one that you actually see right in front of you with the background of the gameplay, the animation, and another video right here. Now, at the very beginning of the Twitch, there were these huge and bulky overlays where you would be able to see uh, different kind of animations that would consume the majority of the screen and not more so on when the, you have a face cam in front of you to actually communicate to your audience but on this kind of a screen where you have the majority of it supposed to be taking the gameplay and while you're playing the game and you'll have a bunch of overlays cluttering that overlay with your subs with your notifications and a bunch of other useless stuff in my opinion but at the same time some people might disagree. So what I've been seeing so far throughout different time frames of really big streamers doing and adjusting their overlays, I saw a really unique pattern. Now this pattern is, I think, primarily caused due to Twitch audience and Twitch creators actually maturing and going from a regular gameplay people that just stream video games to actually a personality streamers. Now, what happens when you have a personality stream, you try to get rid of the majority of the clutter on your screen to make sure that the personality of yourself, as well as the personality of your stream, pops out and actually gets more to the viewer than anything else. And that's actually the exactly the same methodology that I used in designing this specific overlay, but primarily the overlay that I use the most when I'm actually in the game which is this one where I have my overlay around the camera, which is animated with the mask. And I'll show you in a little bit how you can do that, which actually allows this red pattern, the, this red main thing, move around my border and actually go from side to side, whereas this corner right now is the reddest one, which adds a bit more flair to my stream as well as puts a touch of that personality into my hands. Now here's an example of how you can make sure you achieve exactly the same result with this kind of overlay that I have here, which is the plain background of a white overlay with animation going right around and making sure that it goes to this corner and then goes back to this corner. Now it's actually quite a bit simple, but it took me some time to figure this one out and I'm gonna share it with you guys today. 
So what you have to do, what you have to do is you can you have you have to create a new scene, a new scene which you can click a plus button over here and add a new scene. Now I already have a new scene, which is what I call it a cam border right here, which actually looks exactly like my border. Now what you have to do in order to achieve exactly the same result is first of all you have to add as a media source you have to add a video a video that's going to be running in the background of your overlay now video could be an animation it could be a music video it could be pretty much anything that you want to be in the background of your overlay now you have to add it as a video now the video could be stored on your computer so you have to choose a path so that that video is going to be found now the way that I have it set up is this kind of animation. Now don't worry about what I just did. I'll show you exactly in a moment what happens next. Now, what you have to make sure happens next is going to be this background video has to be filling this the whereabouts of where your overlay is going to be. Now, what you have to do next in order to achieve that the video is going to be coming in the foreground of your overlay instead of just being the square because otherwise this is a, this is what's going to happen you're going to have this overlay or the video taking your overlay's part it's just going to be inserted as a source as a video so what you have to do is you have to go back to your source uh, well back back to your scenes excuse me into the sources right click choose filters and click plus sign over here what's going to happen after you click a plus sign you have to add this image mask blend which i already have added right here so i'm just going to go back into mine now what you have to do is you have to choose a type as an alpha mask and alpha channel then insert your path of your border or just primarily click browse and find your uh border where you have it stored on your computer now mine is going to be from a different path than yours so you can use this really easy ui to navigate where your file is stored right click uh, double click on it and click this button open right here now what you have to do next is pretty much don't touch anything else ex uh, except if your overlay that you did is not going to be a white color Now the ones that i made specifically for you guys are in white color so therefore we don't have to do anything else here now at the very end you have to make sure that your mask is visible so you have to make sure that this eye becomes white and this is where the magic happens this is going to be the final result that you're going to be achieving with this kind of trick so what's actually happening is that it takes the mask as a PNG file, which is going to be the over, the only thing that's going to be in the forefront is going to be your overlay. I'm going to be bring it up front only in the borders of where your overlay is, the animation that sits in the background. And as a result, you'll have a scene. And as a result, you'll have a scene that looks like this. Now, what do you have to do next? And then you have to go back into your streaming scene which is mine is going to be called live gaming and import your background overlay or just the overlay as a scene so my scene uh, is called camp border right so this is this is my scene right here Th this is my source right here which is actually a scene so what happens next if I disable it you'll see that this is the border so the way that you add it, you click, click this plus button and you choose a scene. Now, I have a couple of scenes here that I'm playing around with in order to achieve this kind of overlay, which I'll dive into how I did those maybe in my live stream when I'm streaming on Twitch or on my YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And then you simply click on the scene that you want to add, which is mine is going to be seen, which is already added, so I cannot add it a second time. And you'll have this kind of stylish border. Now, as a result, what you'll end up having you'll have an overlay at the border of your camera or any sort of border that you would like to have on your specific stream. It would be animated according to the video animation or any video that you input as a source of the video. 
which will actually give you one of the best designs and personalities out there on a Twitch. And you can see those kind of overlays and designs on the stream such as Tim the Tatman, Dr. Looper, that employ similar technique to actually stay out and ahead of the everybody else on Twitch with a specific personality and a specific flair of their stream into their channel. Now, like I promised, I actually made a couple of overlays specifically for you guys to download and play around with. Now, these overlays are completely free and I just give them away uh, with my full creativity put into them. And here's how they look like. So here are the couple of overlays that I did for you guys that you can download straight from our Discord server, which you can find in the link below. And these are the four specifically handcrafted overlays that you can use and use exactly the same technique to achieve those animated overlays that I just showed you. And here are the four of them. Here's the one that I call a circle one, which gives a bit of a flair. We have a circle logo right here in the middle of your stream. And you can make sure that all of this white border can be animated. The next one that I call, which are ears, which they have this kind of a sighty ear ones. That you can also download absolutely for free on our Discord and also animate them according to your personal uh, flair and taste. Now, I think this one is by far my favorite one that I just created. Uh, it gives you two logo placements, which is one could be for your logo of your stream, another one could be a logo for your community, and animate the rest of it, which I think gives really cool personality. I really call this retro futuristic style into your stream. Now, the last one, but not least one, is actually going to be this really unique design which kind of brought me with like three lines and a data style which you have three lines over here that are sticking out of your stream three diagonal cuts which are proportionally based as well place for your logo and just kind of another spot where it just shows a bit of your personality in the spot that you can put pretty much anything on this side or just leave it open like i have for example and this and in, in this spot and this spot right here which also can the white white border side can also be animated now the way that you get this overlays is actually quite simple there's going to be a link down here in the description below which is going to be a link for our discord server which is called extraordinary squad now what you have to do when you joined our uh, amazing community full of streamers full of collabs and full of great uh, content that I have for you that I actually have here in streaming gadgets. But this is what we're going to talk about in the next video. What you have to do is once you join, you go into the section stream extraordinary streamers, scroll all the way down to custom designs, choose the overlay that you want to have, click on it, open as original, which which will bring a brand new page on your browser. This is where it comes out in high definition, which is, in my experience, is going to be 720p. You right click on it, save image as, and you have to save it as a PNG image. That way the background is going to be transparent and the foreground, which is the border, going to be made in a white color, which you can then animate. And the way that I told you how to do that, how to do so is was just previously in the video. Now, I hope this video really helps you out to actually get your stream in the right place in terms of design, the flair and the feeling with all the cool animations that I just showed you that you can implement for your channel. Now, I'm going to be doing a lot of those and I'll actually be re revealing the secret how I did this overlay where I have the gameplay right in the background of my face cam, the gameplay of the game over here, the animation and a bunch of other cool stuff on this channel and in my discord server which actually reveal a lot more stuff than on my youtube yet so if you want to learn about those don't forget to join our discord server as well as subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, okay i'll i'll, I'll get on their ship okay i am on their ship and i have one build <laughs> a few inches later we got two holes. Hey, man. Do all their